Hey, what's up? Robert here from Robert's Productions, and today I'm going to show you how to create this effect in Vegas. So it's going to be kind of a karaoke effect, and uh, if you're willing to take the time out of your day to do this, it's pretty time consuming. There's an easy way and there's a hard way, so I'm just going to go ahead and start with the easy way first. Uh, to avoid copyright problems, I got this cover by YouTube username right here. And if you want to just skip this short part, you can always skip it by clicking this button over here. Okay, so let's get started. I got a couple different clips here. I just got this, which includes the video and sound. And then below that, I have the actual karaoke soundtrack that, that'll play afterwards. So I'm going to mute that right now. And I'm going to actually go ahead and remove this video and replace it with a photo because, you know, most karaoke songs have a still background that's not moving. Just so it doesn't distract you when you're trying to read the uh, lyrics, especially when you're at a bar because karaoke's go on at bars usually most of the time. And, uh, you know, you got to make the words very big and visible and highlighted just so, you know, they can sing it decently. Okay, so I'm going to right click, choose group, remove from, and now I can just simply hit delete and delete that video file, just the, just the video, just the video, and keep the audio. So I'm just going to replace that with the little image here, and uh, I'm not going to do the whole song right now, so I'm just going to zoom into a portion of this video and probably do the first, what, 20, 20 seconds of it? Okay, and now what I'm going to do is right click, choose insert video track. And then I'm going to go over here to Media Generators, select text. You can also use a Prototype Titler if you want more customization. It allows you to you know, add more effects to the text. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick with the regular text. Okay, and I'm just going to click and drag this down to the timeline. And we got our sample text going on there. Maybe it'd be nice if we can preview it. Okay, there it is. Um, I don't know the lyrics to the song. So I'm just going to uh, copy it down. Okay, so we're going to start off. Since this is easy, we're just going to do one line of text at a time. So Drew looks at me, comma. All right, so I'm going to actually change the font to 36. And we're going to change the color to that blue and then add some effects, do a draw outline, and I'm going to do black. Uh, bring the width up a little bit. And then uh, they call it a draw shadow. I call it a drop shadow. What is a draw shadow? 0, 0 0.0. And uh, feather it out a tad bit. Of course, it's black. Maybe I want it to be white. Maybe I want to mix things up a little bit. Okay, so you can see it adds a little bit of a glow. Not too exciting, but it's okay. It's okay. So Drew looks at me. Let's listen to, to the lyrics here. Okay. Drew looks at me. Okay, and then the next part starts, so I'm going to cut that off. Copy it and paste it. Yes. And uh, then we got to write in the next set of words which is I fake a smile so he won't see that's pretty interesting she's faking a smile so he won't see can you imagine that okay so now that I got this first set and then the second set you can continue on keep going for the entire song okay it's it's a, it's an easier part here I'll do one more one more one more set of lyrics. Click OK. Change the effect to 
Um, that I want and I'm, oh shoot, I'm needing. So there's that. Okay, so we got three sets of words. Now I'm going to time it. He looks at me, that's okay, okay, I make a smile. And then the next part. Oh wait, 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 stop. Is it still going? Hold on, did you hear that motor in the background? Stop riding your ATVs! I'm making a video! Well, it's my money and I need it now! Sorry, I had to take care of some business. <sighs> okay, so, um... Drew looks at me, I fake a smile so he won't see, and then that, I... whatever, okay? Did I time it right? Yeah, and then it stops. We're gonna stop it right there, because we're not gonna do the whole thing right now. It's gonna take up all your time and all of my time. So, okay, um... Now that we got these three words down, we're going to actually duplicate, actually not duplicate, yes, no, yes, duplicate track, check it out. Now we duplicated everything. <laughs> What'd you do that for? It's, that's useless. Well, actually, once you got all the lyrics down for the entire song, you duplicate the track, and then you change the track effects, do a little bit of an HSL adjust. Which is like hue and saturation in levels or luminance. Ooh, it stands for luminance. HSL. Okay, and then change the color. Um, I'm gonna be copying this video, so that's why I chose pink. Okay. Everything up here is pink. Now what we want to do is go to transitions. I was trying to copy Tobuscus, but you know it didn't really work out. Um. We're gonna go to uh, linear wipe. <laughs> that just that just made an image in my mind. Uh, I don't want to talk about it. And we're gonna do the left, right, hard edge. That sounds interesting. Okay, and uh, just close out of that, and bring this fade all the way up. You know, so it kind of takes a while to to go, and then just add that to every clip. It might get a little screwy. In this case, it got very screwy. Wait, this is this is like confusing me. Okay, I think I'm just gonna yeah, just just bring it out, and don't let it confuse you. You're in control. No, it's it is. It's not working right. Stop. Don't watch this whole part that I just did. Do not watch that. Stop looking. I I didn't make a mistake. I just gotta redo it. I'm just gonna kind of separate them, just you know, so I can add this effect and not have problems with it, like some other things. And then add the effect again and again for the rest of the video. Sorry, that was a little overload. Okay, so let's preview it. Damn computer, go faster! Okay, well, I'm gonna render this out so you can watch it nice and smoothly and not have to deal what I have to deal with. Okay, this choppiness. Alrighty, so let me render it out and here, here, you play, watch the smoother sample. Okay, so let's act like uh, this is the beginning of the timeline. It's not because it starts at 339, but it's okay. Don't worry about it. Now I'm going to show you the longer way that takes a lot longer, but uh, you know, you can customize the effects a little bit. Watch and learn. If I wanted to copy this video and, you know, show stacks of lyrics in there, you can come to the media generators, add a text to your thing, and I'm just going to make it simple for you and paste a set of, oh shoot. <laughs> I'm just gonna come back over here, copy a, a, a text clip, and uh, bring it in here. 
paste. Yes, click OK. So he looks at me. Okay, I'm going to include some more words. He looks at me and then I fake a smile so he won't see. Okay, this is a requested video. So I'm just using the video that they wanted me to sample from. Okay, so nothing's going on here because I wouldn't have chose this song. So there's two sets of text there. And uh, now what we want to do is create two more video tracks. So right click insert video track, copy this and paste it twice. See, it's already taking a lot longer unless you're uh, very quick. Then up here, I'm just going to erase the bottom set of words. And for this clip, I'm going to erase the top set of words. And then we can, uh, you know, just add that tracks effect. HSL adjust and make it that pink color. Close enough. So we got a set of text on individual layers, you can see. And uh, what we could do is begin with this layer, select the event pan crop options, and come over here, stretch the fill frame, say no. Don't do that. You got to understand the meaning of no. And then I come over here to uh, lock it just so you move it on the X axis or X only and then uh, you know you can insert keyframes this is where it gets to be kind of a pain because uh, you got it kind of got to listen to it okay so she starts talking around there drew so I'm actually gonna move this I should have moved it back in the first place with the first keyframe selected and everything you want to make sure that it's off the text Okay, and for some reason, a stretch of fill frame went back to yes. I wanted not to do it, and then I'm gonna drag on over to where it starts. She starts saying uh, Drew, and then I'm gonna show that part of the lyrics. Okay, and then uh, I just like to go to the end of the timeline and finish it off. You know, you can be more precise. This is a lot more of a controlled karaoke effect where you can control how fast it highlights and everything. So once again, event pan crop, uh, no stretch to fill frame, and uh, start over here. And then she kind of goes off like, uh, and you know what I just noticed? We don't want this even showing up yet. So... Okay, so actually I want this to be dragged on over and this dragged out and I guess we can drag this out as well. And we can drag this, oh shoot, we can drag these keyframes out as well. So looks at me, I think that keyframe was dragged out a little bit too far. Okay, and then we can start with this set of keyframes and she goes, let's see what she does. Okay, so around there, back up, back up, back up, around there, we wanted to sh say I, and then kind of a pause, and then another keyframe, fake a smile. I'm just going to fake a smile so he won't see. Okay, simple as that. And now let's preview it. Do So you can see you can really adjust everything using this method, but look how long it took us just to do one set of lyrics. Okay, so it's going to take you a lot longer, but it's going to be more controlling. Because if you want to, if you're a controlling type of person, you can do it this way, okay? But if you're not, and you want to do it the easy way, this is so much easier. You can do it this way. Alright, so I hope this helped. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care.